It's been a while since we were here at East City. Well, there's no reason to come here, unless they drag us in for some reason or other. But it's rare for us to get a summons from the Colonel himself. I wonder what's up. That's probably about Lior. I might have gone a little overboard with that one. A little? That was way overboard, Ed. Oh well, I guess we'll face our fate soon enough once we get to East Headquarters. becomes a war zone and he doesn't even blink. What's wrong with this picture? Do you think he did it? There's only one way to find out. Come on, Al. We're going after him. question for you. Did you see a suspicious looking guy walk through here? A suspicious looking? Come on, we ain't got time to play your stupid kitty spy games. Take a hike. Please, he had a patch over his right eye. We're pretty positive he came this way. And we've got reason to believe he just blew up a military car. Are these weenies after bald? Come again? I didn't quite catch that incriminating mumble. Ah, <sighs> I'd hate to do this, but this is what you get for sticking your noses in where they don't belong. Whoa! Ed, these guys are armed! First a car bomb, now a shootout. I swear I'm gonna write a very strong letter to HQ about this. Sorry, Pipsqueak, but it's time for you to get a whooping. No hard feelings, eh? guys, and why are they so eager to fill us with lead? Maybe they're working with the eye patch guy. Some kind of rebel group. What should we do with them? Screw them. They'll be out cold for a while. We gotta find our mark. He's bound to be close.
like it leads to the sewers. You think he went down there? It's what my money's on. Well, down the hatch we go. Maybe we can still catch up with him. Uh, okay. You go first. Smells like something died multiple times. And it's human, too. I can already feel the rust creeping over me. 
don't worry, I'll polish your armor up nice and shiny once... Huh? Al, over there! Looks like our... into a bridge. Fate's got it in for us today. I guess we don't have any other choice but to go back and find another way.
Floodgates. Just think of the thousands of gallons of water rushing through there. Are you trying to make me want to go to the bathroom, Alphonse? Wait a minute. You know, Al, maybe if we can shut those gates, we can stop the water flow and... Yeah. Then we can cross over to the other side of that channel, back near the entrance. So the burning question is, how do we get those gates to close? <laughs> Who the hell are these sewer rats? Hey, where'd you punks come from? And how'd you get this far in? Ah, perfect timing! 
Hey, Pops, how can I get those floodgates to close? You got the goal to ask us? This ain't a place for brats like you. Get ready for a beating. So much moxie in him. I think this console controls the floodgates. Hmm, let's see. I'll take an educated guess and start pulling levers until something happens. Eeny, meeny, money. You can't just barge in here and do anything you want! You like me now, punk? What? Why are you? Ooh. Jeez, what was this dimwit thinking? Well, Al, do you think you can fix it up with alchemy? I don't 
think so. It looks like a few crucial parts fell through the grate and were washed away. Oh, man. Well, in that case, I guess it's up to me. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what are you going to do? That piece canon and D. Am I awesome or what? Awesome? Are you crazy yet? What were you going to do if the sewers came crashing down on us? Huh? Oh, uh, well, I. Oh, come on, Al, loosen up. I stopped the water, didn't I? That's not the issue here, I swear. You have a short fuse and a short temper and you're so short-sighted. Short, short, short! Can you be a little more repetitive, Alphonse? I'm not getting through, am I? Well, now we should be able to cross over that channel. As they say, all's well that ends well. That's for sewer. <laughs> Shake a leg, Al. We don't want to let that guy get too far ahead. What? Wait! I'm not done talking to you! Oh.
There's some sort of facility up ahead. Hmm. Even with this stinky sludge we've been trudging through, I can still smell a bad guy a mile away. Ed, I think we should go back and report to the Colonel first. There's no time for that. That one-eyed bastard might get away. Besides, I'd prefer the Colonel owe us one. From sewer rats to sewer brats, what have I done to deserve this? Ed, look at that guy's arm! Well, auto male brethren, are we? I can see you're no ordinary brat, but even that won't save you now. You blew up that military car, didn't you? Any particular reason you'd like to share? of your damn business. Please, mister. None of us would have to get hurt if you just surrender quietly. Who do you think you're talking to? Get ready to die, urchins! Not willing to negotiate, huh? Too bad. Al, we're gonna have to convince this guy with some good old brute force.
How? How did I lose to a little kid? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Well, if you must know, it's because your auto mail's so cheap. Damn it. This ain't over yet. Uh, give it up already. You little punk ass guys! Don't worry, I controlled myself. The damage to your skin isn't nearly as bad as it feels. Oh no, only one guy I know could be that obnoxious. So, off playing in the sewers were you full metal? I thought I had ordered you to report to headquarters. Shut up! If only your security were as tight as your ass, we wouldn't have had to get involved in the first place. Bastard, who the hell are you? You can call me Roy Mustang, or just Colonel. Better yet. Call me the Flame Alchemist, and be sure to remember the pain.